Okay, um, Rio, go ahead and show off your previous piece that we're Look not, what I did. We're not allowing to go on the fridge. Because, Look what I did. You know, no, it should go on the fridge, Sace. I'm not letting it. Sace, it needs to go on the fridge because nope. it's good. Nope. It's very good. Nope. Okay, so last week we did this guy right here with Copic markers. See, I said it right this time because I got, you know, the clarification that it's Copic, not Copic. So I'm pretty excited I about that. Copic. Copic, 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 Copic. Copic markers. Yay, Copic markers. I love them. I'm in love with them. I want all of them. Hashtag send real Copic markers in fan mail Friday because Chase won't lose the footage this time of the Copic markers. I promise. Um, so anyway, a lot of you were writing in telling us how expensive the Copic markers were, so we figured we would take it down a few notches. So if I can do this with Copic markers on a regular coloring page, I wonder what I can do with all of these. Look at the glory. Woo! Woo! Now, of course, I have taken the liberty of putting these in rainbow order because I cannot stand anything to not be in rainbow order. That's I, just the I way that the works. I have the footage of that too. I'll show you that right now. Yeah. So the challenge is to um, with these. I had a, with this one. I had a limited uh, color palette to work with, and I wanted to make it as three dimensional as I possibly could with the limited color palette. The challenge with this is to what size? I want to see if you can use all of those colors in this one. Page. Every single one of these crayons on this seahorse. Okay. Every one of these. So it, there's 152 colors mm -hmm. in this box. 152. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use 152 crayons on this little eight and a half by 11 sheet of coloring book paper. Yes. Okay. Can you do it? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. So I seriously have to use every one of these crayons on this and we're not gonna no, cheat. It's not, that you, it's not that you have to, I'm saying that you can't. Oh, challenge yeah, accepted. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> That's like passing me on the interstate. Challenge accepted.
I can make all of these work? Oh, wow, Rio. How do you do it? Wow. I cannot do that. It would make me crazy. If I, so what I'm gonna, what I'm doing here, besides wasting time, while I try to wrap my brain around all these colors I'm not familiar with, is that I'm trying to decide which part of this I wanna pull forward. So I obviously want his head, this part of his face to come forward. And I'm just trying to let my brain kind of wrap around all of this color and see where I'm putting all this color. All right, you ready, Rio? Yeah, I'm ready. What do you got over okay, there? Okay, well, I've got a little swatchy action going on here, so I'm starting to see how I want to play with these colors. And so I think I have a plan for my seahorse and my seaweed and my little background fishes. And so I think I'm ready. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, I think we need to name the seahorse before what do you want to call him? Oh, I think we should let them name him. Okay, what do you guys want to call the seahorse? What do you want name to name him? Name the seahorse. Hashtag name Rio Seahorse. Other thing is, do you think I can use every color in the box? Ooh, yeah, tell us. All right, you, you ready? You look really nice today. Oh, thank you, Sace. You're very welcome. Is it the red lippy stick? No, it's the fact that everyone tells me that I'm mean to you. Oh. I don't think it's true, do you? I don't think it's true either. I think some people don't get our sense of humor. Yeah. Shut up. All right, Sace, let's do this. <laughs> Ready? Let's get to filling in that background. I picked up my highest value of the, the aquas and now I'm just kind of, wow, say this is really fast. Look how fast I'm coloring. I can't even concentrate. I'm just getting my first base layer in there. And it, you can tell that I'm getting um, darker values as I go down. Oh, that's a nice camera shot, Chase. Good job with that. Now I'm kind of just coming back in and just kind of solidifying that I need that background behind my seahorse but i want uh, that that gradient what is it called ombre i want that ombre effect all the way down ombre ombre that makes me want to eat tacos <laughs> <laughs> so that was my chair scooting up look at that look how cool that is oh sace you're doing such a great job all right so i've decided that the easiest thing to do would be to use my all of my metallics my blacks my grays and my browns on those background fish because i don't really want them to be the stars of the show they're just supporting cast they're just literally just filling in space on the left hand side of the of the page and i want them to be behind everything but in front of the water so that's what i did i just kind of coughed out and used all of those so that whole section that i was really worried about gets used right here All right, on to the seaweed. That's the next thing. So the seaweed, I want some dimension in, in it as well. So I am putting some of it, I'm, I'm coloring some of it with the darker hues or the darker values. And then I'm using some of the crayons that have more yellow in the green so that it looks like there's a little bit of highlight and they come forward. And as you guys follow me, you'll understand what I'm talking about with my intensities with you know coming forward from the canvas and setting back because I think all the principles I use can be used with any uh, medium. And see this one, I, th that piece of seaweed, I want it to be in the distance. So there's a lot more atmosphere between the top seaweed and that seaweed, so it's darker blue, but a lower intensity, not in your face blue. And see I'm going in and I'm adding some more blue into that seaweed there, yeah. We're just, we're coming around the bend. We're coming around the bend. Now some of the seaweed at the bottom I want to be in front of the seahorse's tail. So I'm using a higher intensity, higher value of colors. And now I'm going back in and putting some of it darker. Sace, this is really working. Oh look, and see as I'm using the crayons, I'm kind of putting them to the side so that I can prove that I've used them all. All right, let's finish strong. How many colors do I have left? because I know I want those to be the most intense and that kind of, so because I, I want the little wing on the back of his head to kind of come forward. 
So uh, now I'm gonna build up on his belly. I'm just kind of blocking in some colors here, trying to figure out my pattern because I didn't have a preset pattern. Chase, that's another nice camera angle. I like it. So I'm just going in and, and rolling a bunch of those crayons over the same areas. The uh, camera angle is because we did not tape down the piece and you went off camera on the other camera. It's true, I did. Lessons learned. Next time we'll tape it down so I can't move it. This is really cool to watch. <laughs> Seriously. I like watching it develop. Would you wish the uh, realism was that fast? I do wish the realism was that fast, but the more I work with this stuff, the faster the realism gets, so it makes it more possible to actually produce it, which is what we're working towards. I don't know if you noticed there, but I took a blue color and I went over the tail uh, lightly, even though I'd already colored it yellow, and that pushes that tail back into the picture, so it gives him more dimension. All right. What is that? Is that my pile of crayons? This is where we are so far. It's getting there. Still not where I want it to be though. Nice shot. Look at that eye. Chase was just freaked out by the eyeball. It's really good. See, up close, those crayons are still pretty rough though, you know? I mean, it is what it is. There's a lot of wax on that. A little bit more detail coming into the tail. My hand was killing me after this. Just trying to darken up as much as I can. Transparent wax is still transparent wax. Trying to create as much shadow there as possible because that pops his, his jaw forward. Nice camera work, Chase. Way to follow me. It's got to be challenging to follow me too because I'm in the zone. It's impossible. I'm just brushing off the extra wax there because it's getting pretty clumpy because I'm pushing pretty hard. And you see how that changes the hue in that as I just color over it? Just like It's like glazing with paint. Oh, I don't know where I'm at. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. That part still ended up giving me trouble throughout the whole thing. The little frill in between his, his whatever you want to call that there. See how that warms that up? I don't really like to use warm, but I like the, the yellow coming forward as I'm scribbling the yellow over the entire thing. It just makes it more cohesive when you put the yellow on all of it. And I am really working that crayon there. Now I'm putting some reflective light from the seahorse onto the um, seaweed because it's up against each other so that it would reflect, those colors would reflect. And you see on that side I'm using the purple, on the other side I use the pinks because you've got the purple up against the seaweed here and on the other side of the seahorse you've got more pinks. And then again I'm just darkening that area up just to make, just to create a little bit more shadow, give it a little more interest. And it's all just really good practice. When I get burned out with the realism, this is what I do to kind of bring myself back into it. Just adding some more shadows here. And it just gives it, just gives it more texture, gives it more dimension makes things pop a little bit more. 
This would have been so much easier with Copic markers, but the crayons was good though. It was good. It was good to see how the crayons, because I get a lot of people who comment that they can't afford the Copics. A lot of kids watch the, the show apparently. I didn't really get that, I guess. And, uh, um, that, you know, they can't go out and just buy $5, $7, $10 Copics and wherever you are in the world, sometimes the Copics are really expensive. Um, but crayons is something pretty much every school age child has access to. So that's why we're doing the crayon challenge, just so you can see what to do to really rock that crayon page, that coloring book page. And I'm going to design some of my own coloring book pages after this that you guys will be able to download. Leave us a comment and let us know if you'd be interested in that sort of thing. Cause I've got, I can draw lots of things like this that you guys could then follow along and color with me. And these crayons didn't come, didn't even come from a craft store. They came from Walmart. And I bought this set because it was the biggest set I could get my hands on, 152 colors, plus it had a sharpener in it. Oh, which, sharpener. Which is necessary, seriously, it's so necessary. I don't think you ever um, used it. I'm sorry that I keep putting my head in the shot. Chase didn't want to stick around for five hours while I painted, while I colored this, so I couldn't tell that I was off camera because I was in the zone. Oh, there he is back now. He's like, hey, get your head out of the shot. <laughs> and I'm like, Sace, do your job then and stand here. See how that nice that is? Going back over it again with the yellow. Just brings it all together. Just pulls that whole section together. Just because the line is drawn there doesn't mean you have to color within that line. And you see how I've got some blue around the edges of that little wing part there on the on the seahorse that's that background color that i purposely allowed to overlap when i started coloring it that's what i'm pointing to right there so that it, it set that back down in the background a little bit so that the body of the seahorse was more prevalent than the wing of the seahorse I feel like I'm kind of on a purple, orange, pink, yellow kick lately. Even my pores, I'm I'm so digging that color scheme. A little more shadow there. See how that just brings that out even more. This makes my shoulder hurt just looking at it. <laughs> So a little bit of blue around the edges. That just anchors my background. And now I'm picking up the white because I'm trying to lighten up some areas, high, a little higher value on some of these areas. Because it'll give it a nice contrast with all those other darker hues. And white was a color I had to use. So then I had put the, put the crayon on so thick that I realized that if I scratched off some of it with my fingernail that I could actually highlight some of it that way and so that's what I did because the paper is still stained from the initial application of the th that's a nice shot Chase now you can really see what I'm doing I'm just pulling that right off of there And then I can add some texture to it that way too. Very little texture with crayons, but still. And then Sace handed me a pocket knife, which was so big and cumbersome that I just wasn't very comfortable using it. So I think we switch in a minute to something else. But mm -hmm. see how that pulls, again, that pulls portions of the face forward, giving it a little bit of dimension, even though it's a, just a flat coloring book page. Switching. Look at those nails. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I paint my nails. I don't go get them professionally done so they never last. Now I'm going to sit here and scratch off some highlights 
around the face. Oh, here we go. Different knife, kitchen knife. I'd use a toothpick next time, I think. I just didn't think about having it using a toothpick. I haven't colored in I don't know how long. It's been years since I've colored anything. Just sitting here watching myself color. Scratching off some of that color. Carving now. Off the camera. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. I'm hard to follow. I, I feel sorry for Sace because I'm hard to follow on this because I just bounce all over. And he's trying to give you guys a close up view so you can really see it. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. You see, I'm not taking every bit of it off, just little bits and pieces off. I like the way that's looking a lot. See, that part of the of the seahorse gave me trouble the whole time I was working on it. I just didn't quite get that one the way I wanted it. I like I like carving the scraping off the crayon though. Isn't that nice? It makes that pop. separation there on his frill or whatever you want to call it I don't know the technical term I've never really studied seahorses although I've seen one scuba diving Ocean dwelling horse and they are just amazing <coughs> they're not really horses they're fish ocean just in case you didn't horse. ocean dwelling horse is that what they are mm -hmm. ocean dwelling horse mm -hmm. that's really a fish and not a horse Now I'm like, I'm totally just lost. I can tell you right now that I'm totally just lost in the whole process of this. I'm just, I'm just playing with it now and having a great time. Ooh. I'm thinking if a little scrape can be good, then why not scrape the whole thing, right? There I go and add a few more scales to the back just by removing some of that wax. bit of texture on his belly. Removing the center dot so that it sticks up a little bit more. See how that popped those up? Just 
scraping a little bit off of this little wing. I don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm calling sure it. It's a fin. It's a fin, okay. His little fin. His fin is so beautiful. For real, seahorses are, are just gorgeous. Texture here. Oh, I decided to go for it in the center too. Wow. What I've learned is it's just as much fun to take the crayon off as it is to put it on there. stands out from the, the background a little bit more. Those look like bumblebee butts in my opinion. That's what I think those are, bumblebee butts. Say that 15 times fast. More issues with that part of the... <laughs> That's the one part that I just didn't like of the whole picture. I just had trouble with it. I just had trouble with it. I don't even know what to tell you. Happens with every painting too. I always have one little area that I'm just like, ah, oh, this is not working. Okay, say, so make me stop. Do I need to take the knife away from you? You need to take away my tools, say. Yeah, maybe. What are you gonna do, stab me? No, say, we don't do that on this show. Oops, I knocked my crayons no, in the floor. Just leave those down. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit because there's a lot of loose um, wax. Wow, that was fun. I've never scraped a crayon project to make highlights before that, that was that was cool that was a lot of fun okay so there you have it i successfully utilized 152 crayons on one coloring page and i did my very best to make it three-dimensional and even though it's a graphic illustration it still you know kind of has some curves and it has some reflective light and i've done all the things that i typically would do and if you don't take the crayons away from me, I'm just gonna keep just, working on it. I, I'm trying to turn this so I can oh. look at it. So look we can it. see how it looks at a at the proper angle because I don't yet have equipment to hang camera overhead. Oh yeah, we need to get that. Especially for projects like this. So what do you guys think? Let's get some Tell nice, us what you think in the comments. What do you nice want me to do next? Hand shots in here, ready? Here we go. You. What I say? Stop working on it. Oh, sorry. Rio. What I say? Stop working on it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rio. What I say? Stop working okay, on I'm it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to take it away, cause I can't help it. The eye and it looks. Fantastic. I kind of want to do a little bit of blue wash over all this down here. <laughs> Just to kind of set that down in there a little uh, bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how that's better though? See now now that kind of is more, you know, coming out at you. Mm-hmm. Can't help it. <laughs> 
See now, see what that did though? Do you mm -hmm. see that it made this yeah. come forward? And because I set this down, because yeah. I put yeah, the blue it. over it, it's the, I put some more atmosphere over that. So I, I I I shifted the focal point even further to make sure that the focal point is up there at the top where I've done all the work. Okay, I'm gonna this pan is like it deeper again, water. Because okay? you're you're you've done more work. I can't help it. Can I be done now? Yes. I don't know. Can I? <laughs> can I go over that a little bit too? Are you gonna frame this? Shut up, Sais! What I did in my crayon, I, I worked it so hard it came apart. All right, Just I'm gonna pan. Like this color here. Are you doing it? Mm-hmm. Rio. What's that? Stop working on it. But but I'm 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 setting down. I'm going over with the green to set this tail down a little bit further. See? Okay. How that worked? A little no. more reflective light on the tail. Uh huh. Okay. Really nice. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? All right, let us know in the comments what you think about all that. I think it's a winner. What do you want to see us do next? What other challenges would you like to see me do? Do you enjoy, you know, learning how to color on a whole nother level? That's what we just did. We colored on a whole nother level. It looks fantastic, too. Does it really? Yeah. I haven't got a chance to just step back and look at it yet. You mean to hold it up? No. What I really think I want to do is darken these, because I don't think I like those <laughs> yet. I'm <laughs> <No> kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Oh, wait, maybe I'm going to fix this. Okay, I'm done. Okay, now I want to fix this. Okay, I'm done. Wait, now I need to fix this. All rise for Queen Rio. You may be seated now. After you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and ring that bell. Woo! So anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, leave us a comment. Let us know what else you want to see us do, because we are all about exploring all kinds of things we can do with color. Okay, so what else am I supposed to say, Sace? Because I never remember this part. Poop. Stretchy gel poop. <laughs> this is gel medium that's been dry this drying. That's what this is, stretchy gel poop. Oh wow. What if we can make some stuff with that? You're not helping! You're just standing there looking at me! Stop judging me! Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing! I was doing something else and he said, you gotta film this. I'm like, okay, I gotta film this. Yoga.